<clears throat> hi coming at you with another video from my laboratory <laughs> well anyway today i want to take you with me while i um make some test candles i purchased a new wax it's a coconut soy wax it's supposed to burn cleaner it's supposed to smell better it's more expensive but <laughs> overall um i'm going to be testing them and i want to bring you with me while i make them and probably like the next video I'll show um, how they burn so with that said let me take you over to the supplies that I have and um, see what we got okay here Let's see can I do this <laughs> Here is the um, new test wax. I got this one flaming candles. I only bought a 10 pound pack because I want to make sure I like it. I got so much wax and so many wicks I need to see if I like stuff before I start buying in bulk. Okay. Here I have my, my wick stickers. I did some pre-prepping already. This is to cut my wax with. I did some pre-prepping already with my jars. I'll bring you over here. Let you see them. They are um, actually pre-prepped. This is my 8 ounce jar. My 8 ounce candle. My 12 ounce candle. And my 12 ounce candle. I'm going to be double wicking this particular jar. I am using um, Eco Pre-Pab Wicks from Candle Science. And these are my new fragrances samples that I bought from Flaming Candle. This one is called Amber and Ooh. Okay, Amber and O U I. O I. But it does, it smells delicious. I love it. It's the scent of amber in candles. This one is called, this was a free sample that they gave me because of the purchase that I made. This one is called Witching, Witch's Brew. Mmm, okay, smells okay. This one is called Gain. I'm going to be using this one today. You know, like Gain the Fabric Softener. And this one is called Black Raspberry. Yeah. So let's set those on the side. I wanted you guys to notice. This is a, um one of my candles. The Amber. And see, I even though... You know that can be cleaned off or whatever i still don't like per i don't like that soot on my jars so what i'm going to be doing is testing the um co coconut soy because i know my soy candles are pure and clean and i love them i love the soy so now i'm going to try soy and coconut so let me set that there set that down there on the side for a minute Okay, guys, I'm going to, um, I'll be back because I want to cut up one pound of the wax. So, I'll be back. Okay, guys, first thing I want to do is weigh out my wax. Here's my pot. I'm going to tear that to zero while I get out a pound of this wax. <laughs> I like this sort of kind of already because it's it's more creamier and it, it actually came a little pre-cut so I don't have to cut too much so I'll probably do a little more than a pound Set this because it's set on. 
ounces and it's putting in too much. <laughs> okay, so let me reset the mold to pounds. So here we go. Already we have 1.8 pounds. That should be enough because I was only going to do one pound anyway. So here we have 1.8 pounds. But I'm going to do that a little bit because I have two. Well, I'm not going to fill them to the top either. But um, also, guys, this is 1.8 pounds of the coconut soy wax. And I, I didn't mention also you're going to need your thermostat temperature and you're going to need some wick holders so I'm going to um, put my wax inside of my pot over there and let it begin to melt down okay put that, I'm going to put that at 200 just to give it melt down then I'm gonna let it cool down to around 185 so let's put that at 200 so it'll melt down quick <laughs> let it melt down okay guys I'm gonna go and let that melt down and once that melt down then I'm gonna come back and we can uh, create the candles be back okay guys I'm gonna um, Go ahead and wick my jars. This is my eight ounce container. Remember the little widget? <laughs> Stick it through here, like so, and center it. Press it down, boom. And the same with this jar. Center it. Okay, if I'm off camera, guys, I'm sorry, but I need to see how to center this. Okay, press it down and boom. Okay, now with the double wicking, you want to try to place them closest to the center as pos possible, but give it maybe a half an inch to an inch away from the sides of the jar. So let's go in with the double wicking. Double wick. I should have did this one first because it's a little more complicated than the other ones. And um, I'm only going to be filling these jars halfway because that's basically when you really start to get your results. When um, you know the jars are not fully. Um, uh -oh. When they are not fully full. So let me go in and try to get this about an inch from the. Um, I need to get off camera with this one. <laughs> I'm going to try to have you in focus, but um, I'm going to see. About an inch from the sides. Press it down. See how that's about an inch from the side? And do the same thing with the other side. Let's try to get that as close to the center as possible. Okay, guys, there you have your double wick. So, when it's time to pour, 
I'll be back. Okay, guys, I think that I'm sure the wax is ready. So let's just take the temperature. Yeah, we're at 200. Well, 195. So I'm going to turn it down. So it can cool down while I, um, mix it and I'm going to be putting all the ingredients in my wax that I would normally put so I can get the full burn and see how it you know it actually burns with the um, UV inhibitor with my colors and so I'm going to um, go jars are done and ready to be poured so what I'm going to do is grab some of that wax half of it probably because I'm using two colors blue and green so I don't really need to tear it out let me just pour some of it out kind of gotten good with tearing so let me just pour what I think is half actually yeah I can pour the whole thing in here because I am going to be fragrancing it the same fragrance. And I'm going to let that cool down a little bit. 174. This is typically what I use when I check the color of my candles how vibrant I want it to be let me sit that there the wax is ready let me get a spoon a little wax spoon and I'm going to pour in I don't want to burn off my oils either <laughs> so let me just let that cool down for a minute yeah I still want it to cool down a little bit more because I don't want it to burn off my fragrance. This is the gain. Gang, gang, gang. This smells so good. And let it come down just a little bit more before I add that. And I want to pour. I think I'm going to pour because I want two colors <laughs> yeah I will have to be lady drama so I'm going to pour about half of this in here Of course, y'all know I should have waited. Let me do that like that for now. One minute. I'm going to pour this in first before I divide it. Yeah, that's good. Right now, it's at 172.3 degrees Fahrenheit. 
So let me go ahead and put in the gang, gang, gang. And remember, you want to stir this for about one minute, but you don't want to stir it vigorously because you don't want air bubbles. So just go back and forth with like, you know, you know, like a figure eight circle cycle. It smells so good. Oh, wow. This game smells delicious, y'all. here and I'm gonna go with the green first yeah gang gang gang, gang. one two three four four drops stir and one two three four you know the more drops you use the more vibrant your colors will be and again I use this to test my colors so essentially that's how that's going to turn out that color and let me pour in some of the blue 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 one two three we'll get down there four oops Okay, it was a little too much, but uh, hey, they test candles. Ooh, that's a really dark blue. I'm going to put in a UV, in UV inhibitor because that's what I'm going to be using in my candles. I love color, and I like to preserve my color, and I want to see the reaction. I want to see how the candle itself acts towards the UV inhibitor. Let me just use this. A little bit here. That was a lot, y'all. And a little bit there. Okay. Stir it in. These some dark candles. See how my blue is going to turn out? That's pretty, isn't it? And the green. little drop I take it will smell good okay no singing on the video now they tell this the manufacturer says to pour um, coconut soy wax at around 70 175 Fahrenheit to so that you can get like um less frosting in your candle which really don't mean anything don't have anything to do with um the way the candle will burn so I'll probably get frosty because this is at 152 and this is at yeah let me go, let's go ahead and get these poured so we can I'm gonna do the 12 ounce candles halfway this is 12 and this is 8 well actually these two glasses go together <laughs> in the sale so let me go with these this is the green can you guys I hope you guys can see let me see yeah there for a minute let's go with the beautiful blue 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 mm, it's a gorgeous color
Okay. Let's get these done. Looking for a little tart to put this in. It smells delicious. Oh. I don't know about that. I'm not using these little things, so I'm gonna just pour one in there, like a little um, tart. Oops, maybe I'll pour two in there. <laughs> little tarts. Because I really don't want these full too high. I want them to be at a at a point where I can see how they're going to function when they get to the middle of the candle. Okay, guys, that's it. Those are the candles. This is my green, and that's my blue. And then I was able to make two tarts. So once these settle down and um, do what they do as far as as far as solidating, get it solid. Then I'm going to um, come back with the burn test. I'm gonna come back and light them. I'm gonna clip them. I'm gonna light them, and we can go from there as to um. Yeah, clean your pour pots out. As to how they will burn and do I want to use this wax in my candle line. I got a feeling I do want to use it, but hey, I, I won't know until I actually test it. So, let's see. If I can get you guys a little closer, that might be cool. So, here they are. They look a little dark now because um, they knew. But that's my green candles. That's my and these are my blue candles. Ooh. Move that over there. And I was able to get a couple of little tarts for my um camp for my wax melt. I pop those in my wax melt, and that would be cool. If I like the way that work out, I might use those for my molds for making candle wax melts. I mean, but yeah. So guys, that's them. So guys, once they solidify, when I click and wax, I'll keep you throughout the progress. So, with that said, see you, see you soon. Bye-bye now. For now, I'll be back <laughs> once they solidify. Probably like tomorrow. <clears throat> Good morning. Hello, YouTube. Coming at you with an, um, the completion of my test candles as you know on the previous video to, this is the next day but as you know on the previous video what I did was I created some new candles so that I could test them with a brand new wax a more cleaner wax more vegan kind of wax so with that said these are the finished products of my test this again is the 12 ounce I had some leftovers, so I made some tarts for my melt, my candle melt. This is the 8 ounce. They smell so good. Oh, and this is another 12 ounce. And this is another 8 ounce. These. So, I'm going to um, clip the uh, wicks on these. You can clip the wick either with one of these wick clippers. Or, you could use a pair of scissors or you could use anything that's basically um that will cut the core so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take and remove my little bow ties here and I'm gonna attempt to clip the wick you want to clip your wick maybe a quarter of an inch from the um base I'm I probably need to put
put my heat gun to this and I'll show you that in a few minutes. Let me get in there and clip the wick. Okay, let's clip this one. And I think I'm going to need my heat gun. So, hang on guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see, when making candles, there can be quite a bit of imperfection going on. So, if you can see right here. See that right there? We want to sell a candle that looks like that. Um, see that right there? My fingernail just did that, but <laughs> nevertheless, it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's still a little imperfection. Notice how I um, cut the candle with about a quarter of an inch from the um, base. And these, again, I just test candles. That's why they um, filled halfway because that's where you're going to get your most powerful burn from. This way I'll see any um, thing going on with the um, wick, like mushrooming or flame burning too high or soot on the glass. Because when the candle is full to the top and you do a test burn, you really don't see any of that until it gets like halfway down here. So, that's where I fill the wicks too. I mean the candle too. These are my little um, wax melts that was left over. How gorgeous is that, y'all? Yum! But what you do is you break a piece off and you put it inside of your wax melt. And... Have your whole home have that room smelling well. Very good. Good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how I fix my little imperfections on my candles. This is the heat gun that I said in previous videos that you would need. Um, you just turn it on. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I'm going to try not to touch them too much. See how it's brought wax to the center and it's going to smooth it out? A lot like this one. This one cooled off pretty good. Can you see that? Nice. See that one? And that's what you want, a creamy... So, candle. 
Nice. And again, like I say, these are my test candles for my new wax. I think I'm going to like this wax. I just can't wait to burn it to see how the jars are going to turn out. Because I'm excited about no soots, no high flames. So guys, um, which will probably be in my next video, the results after burning these. But with that said, and I've gotten the videos, I mean I've gotten these done for now. And I'm going to go ahead and, let me go ahead and, well I can't light it now because, um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to light them. And I'm going to try to take a picture of them lighting and post it. If not, this will be in my next video. And I want to thank you for watching my videos. So please like, share, and comment. Let me know what you think. You know, if you can offer any assistance. Because again, like I said, I'm still new with making the candle business. I've been only doing it for a little less than a year now. Um, so I'm always open to new information. So, with that said, please, again, like, sh comment, share, and subscribe. Peace. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and I'm sorry I weren't on camera. It is, what, Tuesday morning? <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye now. Bye. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Mm. And it smells so good. Oh, this smells so good. Bye-bye now. I am back. Just um, to show you the beginning process of my burn test. I just lit the test candles. So I just want to keep you in the loop.